Chehalis Lake North. It's called Mystery Crossover. And it was closed quite a while. But I've heard it's open. So we shall see. Gonna head out on my first ride since uh, since the return from up north. It's an okay day. It's not raining. It's a bit cloudy. Long weekend. So the traffic will probably be horrible. But I'm gonna head east. I'm interested to see if you can get into uh, Chehalis North from Harrison West. I think you can. I've seen, uh, seen somebody post something online. So that's the goal. about the entrance to these things like there's quite a long asphalt piece here windy little asphalt piece through the forest before you get to the uh, gravel They're down, windows dropped, steering dampeners turned up, so yeah. Watch out for the trucks, lots and lots of 4x4s four playing on the long weekend. Now there's the long pull up as you first start this one. Road's in good shape, a bit corrugated, but yeah, it's in good shape. This is about five and a half clicks up. It's the first really good clear view of the lake. And it's gorgeous! switchbacks they take you back down to the lake edge and then continue up north on the, uh, the edge of the lake. This one is whoa, the crossover to um, Chehalis Lake North. It's called Mystery Crossover and it was closed quite a while but I've heard it's open so we shall see. This is a pretty sweet road in very good shape. Burn in here too. That looks like the side of the mountain has let go. 
Probably a bunch of rain after the burn. Nothing to hold it together. Ah, there's Chehalis. Chehalis Lake. And up there, look at that. Beautiful. Wow. over the Chehalis River. Looks like there's a fair number of people here. Lots of little sights. It's handy. Nah, it's okay. Just looking. You coming through? Wow. There's a lot of people here. Holy shit. Well, I was just gonna turn around and go home and those that couple there invited me over for a beer. So, Yes, I shall do that.
managed to get out of the river without embarrassing myself. Wow, I can't believe how many people are down here. I think the hardest part about here is is actually getting into the uh, the wreck site because of these big, huge puddles and rocky, weird terrain. But the road in is good. Okay, back at the bridge. That was kind of fun. 